Hello, welcome to the Posture Clinic. My name is Emma and I shall be taking care of you today. Okay. So I have the form that you kindly filled in at reception. Thank you for doing that. And I believe this is your first time. Okay. Well, now that you're registered, we'll be sending you a complete list of all of our services. So you may want to take part in um, some of the wonderful things we provide here. We don't just have our separate appointments and clinics for various things, but we have group exercises in different types of group sessions as well to help you out, okay? So we will be sending you all of that. There's also, I believe, um, a menu and a few leaflets in reception, so you can take those as well. Okay, so we have the very basic questions here. We have your name, address, date of birth, and your profession. That's very interesting for me. And the health concerns that you um, bring to us here is pain in the lower neck and back pain. Okay. And do you have headaches associated with those or anything else you can think of? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well, I'll pop that down as well so we can have a record of that. Um, and how do you sleep? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Right here. Yeah. That's good. So now we'll just go through the questions that were on the back. And those are for you and I together. So let's do those now. premises or okay I see yes I know all right and is that every day okay and how many days a week do you work each day. Right, and how many hours on average would you work each day? Okay. Yes, okay, it's easy to do a little extra. <laughs> I know. Okay, so we'll just pop an average. question. Uh, how long are you at your desk for at a time? So do you have regular breaks or do you stay at your desk for extended periods of time? Okay. Hmm. Is everything you do at your desk? Or do you have 
places to go to to collect things for your work? Do you stay in one place? I think the hardest, uh, the, the biggest problem I'm finding really is with people spending long periods of time at the desk and perhaps not having water by your side or regular drinks or breaks to eat. Sometimes we forget the time. So you can have a little timer perhaps if that helps or set yourself a little timetable. We'll have different ways of doing it, but I think just being aware that you need to take a break from time to time and get up. Mm. Okay. And do you manage to get any exercise throughout the day, perhaps before work? At lunchtime, if you take a lunch break and have to work. Mm. Okay, does that vary from day to day or do you have a regular routine? Mm. Okay. Pop this down on your records later. Alright, that should be everything. So, I think from looking at your answers and the fact that you have lower neck and back pain, um, I think what we'll do is we'll just go through ways that you can sit at your desk and I'll give you some advice on the best way to do that and just little things you can be mindful of during the day so that you can take care of yourself a little better. Um, just like I said, if you're aware of certain things, it's in your consciousness then and you will just start to make an effort to think of yourself. I think when we're totally absorbed in the screen and in our work, I can tell that you probably love your job. Okay. Um, well, if you like what you do, then you can go for a little longer than really you should, perhaps. And or if you have deadlines, you're absorbed and maybe not thinking about yourself. So let's talk about that. Okay. I'll put that in there. I'll use a pencil. diagram here so we'll go through that and then perhaps um, I can show you a little from my computer. All right. Just a few very small changes can make a big difference. Towards the end of our appointment as well, what I'll do is, um, if it's okay with you, I would recommend just a, a light or a short massage on the back of 
your neck and your shoulders so that when you go home and start to implement these uh, little measures um, then you'll be nice and relaxed and ready to go mm -hmm. okay. okay, so this is my handy diagram that I drew just for you so this is you with your lovely curly hair and your smiley face Right, so this is you at your desk, okay? And what you'll see here is two ways to hold your legs, first of all. So, position A is your knees in line with your hips, so at the same level. Okay. Now what this does is it causes your pelvis to rotate backwards and deactivates your core muscles and causes you to hunch forward. Okay. So this is what could be causing your neck pain, you see. So Perhaps just have a little look at that. How do you sit when you're at your desk, if you're able to show me? Okay, and what kind of chair do you have? Alright, it's not necessary actually to have, you know, the most expensive or type of office chair. It's really um, important to just sit in the right way. So whatever chair works for you is the best one. So let's not worry too much about that. I'm just going to go through the position. So even if you were to find a different chair at home that perhaps you were enabled you to sit in the right way, then that's fine. Okay. So, that was position A, and that's your knees in line with your hips. Now, what we would recommend is that you lower your knees to position B. So, very slightly, your knees are below your hips. Okay. Now, your feet are always best flat on the floor. So if you have a high desk, for instance, then if you were to pop something on the floor, sometimes if your desk is high, then your chair is high and your feet may not fully touch the floor. So you can have a cushion on the floor or a stack of books. You can buy one of those fancy foot rests, uh, whatever you can find, or a little stool. Whatever allows your knees to be below your hip level and your feet flat on the floor. Okay? Uncomfortable, of course. So there you go. Feet flat on the floor. Perhaps, depending on your chair, in order to lift your bottom, you might need to do that so that your knees are below your hips. You could pop a cushion underneath or a towel, folded towel. Um, you can buy uh, different support pillows, things like that. Just whatever works for you. Again. So another really important thing 
once we've corrected your knee level and your sitting level and your feet on the floor we need to then look at where your um, eyes are positioned to look at your screen okay so perhaps I can demonstrate this for you this way if I just turn myself around okay so you can probably see that my laptop here is a little raised uh, from the desk if it was flat on the desk I'd be looking downwards so just move this there and you can see so if my eyes are this is my eye level and if I have to move my head down to look at the screen down there then what I'm doing is I'm bending my head forward I'm tilting it forward and that means that you're creating then an opportunity to, and we all do this to bend forward like this say if we're really engrossed in the screen and we start to move forward and just and we create this kind of hump in the back like this so if you can raise your screen up to your eye level your vision level if you're moving your eyes around a bit that's okay it's just if you're having to do this all the time it's not so good for your lower neck okay so perhaps then that means that your keyboard is higher now it doesn't matter how high your arms are it's whatever's comfortable really perhaps you've got um, rests on your chair and you're wanting to rest your elbows onto them um, as you can see here with my uh, laptop the keyboard is now up here and that's okay for me I don't mind that but sometimes I want to rest my arms further down so I can then uh, take a portable keyboard and rest it on the desk and do like this okay so it really depends on your setup at home if you need to raise your laptop or your monitor you can just pop them on a stack of books if you want to or you can buy a fancy stand it's up to you the stand here that I have like that and it's adjustable and that just holds my laptop right there. you can get stands like this open up and you can elevate your laptop just a little by an inch um, just depends okay so here we have at the bottom here very important message 30 minutes at a time and that's the time that you need to be spending at 
your desk in one position. Every 30 minutes, ideally, if you can stand up and have a little walk around, or stand up and have a stretch, perhaps, that would be really great for you and would make the world of difference, okay? Um, walk around the room, stretch yourself out a little, okay? You could stretch it to 45 minutes if you wanted, but really, 30 is the best. So we actually have, I'm sure I've got this written down somewhere, yes I do. Right, this is new, so I knew I had to remember this. We actually have a free, free of charge, stretching course and it comes along with your appointment here. You could come along, it's only three sessions and we can, along with uh, the rest of the class, they're usually about five or six people at a time. We've not been doing it for very long but they're becoming really popular and we just take you through three separate sessions of about 30 minutes to an hour long and we teach you different stretching exercises. The first session is exercises that you can do at your desk and it's quite fun. We have a room full of desks and everyone's sitting and of course we go through um, things I've um, spoken to you about today and teach you some stretching exercises and then the second session is exercises you can do around the room and then the third we put some more complicated stretches in for you just to test you a little but it's really handy to just have a look at a few in your toolbox just to keep yourself nice and supple through the day. Gets your heart rate moving a little, stretch out your muscles. And don't forget that your muscles are connected to your nervous system. So when you've been sitting at your desk for a long time and you perhaps become a little tense because you're thinking and being absorbed in your work, that is connected to your nervous system too. So you are communicating emotionally, physically with what you're doing and what you're thinking about as well. So a little stretch out not just relaxes your muscles but then calms down your nervous system too. Okay, your nervous system, don't forget, is like an electrical circuit around your body. So your tuning up your electrics as you stretch. Alright, um, so when you're at your desk you can just stretch your neck sometimes like this. Very simple. You can just move your shoulder blades together, look up to the sky and just get your body moving. Really it's just being aware of how your body feels and just checking in with yourself as you're working. Okay, and then you don't get into that 
mode of just forgetting yourself and um, kind of projecting yourself into the computer and you stop feeling how your body feels okay so just be aware that's all so would you like to book into the stretching sessions okay So I'll jot this down and I'll give it to reception. Um, as I say, it's only three sessions and it is free, so it's worth doing. and what they'll do is give you a call and send over the available dates we have quite a lot of them at all different times of the day and days of the week so you'll be able to just slot into uh, one of those each week okay around your schedule we have so many clients that do all kinds of different types of work um, so we offer them at all different times okay. great I think you'll really enjoy that and you'll be able to meet up with some of our other clients too which is fun Okay, so do you have any questions for me? Okay, good, alright, well no pressure to think of any just now. Um, if you do think of anything, I'm available now, so um, on the email that you'll receive with all the different treatments and sessions that we do here um, my email address is on there okay so if you're stuck with anything or if you've got any questions you can just send those over and I'll reply after my sessions during the day okay good okay so what we'll do is as I said before um, we'll finish off with your massage, is that okay? Alright, um, let's check if I've left anything out, I don't think I have. That's everything. I can photocopy the diagram as well if you like. Okay, send that over to you. Brilliant. Right, so um, I will hand in your questionnaire back to reception along with your details for the course and that will all go on your file. Okay, so what I'll do then is I'm just going to stand a little closer to you and I shall give you a light massage the 
top of your back, your lower neck and your shoulders and that will help me to see and feel how much tension or not there is in this area um, perhaps this will ease your symptoms as well um, in terms of how you're feeling right now would you say, could you give me um, sort of a 1 to 10 1 being um, no pain and 10 being um, the most pain that you normally have okay mm -hmm. what you'll find is when you start to implement these little measures that we've spoken about today your pain will gradually um, start to fade and I think you'll probably get to a stage where you're not noticing it anymore and you kind of forget that it was ever there um, but just be aware of how you're feeling I would say give it a couple of weeks and if you're still experiencing these um, symptoms then come and see us again and we'll go into some more in-depth treatment and uh, see if we can get to the, um, the real root cause of, of what's happening um, perhaps you'd like to send a picture over of your workspace and we can take a look then as well okay so don't worry we will be with you all the way but I do believe that if you implement uh, these measures from today then you will see um, a big difference okay all right so if you're sitting nice and comfortably then I'll just stand up you can just close your eyes and focus on your breathing as well and um, just try and loosen up your neck and your shoulders okay and that will help so I'll just take off my ring there I'll warm up my hands I'll just do this through your top so no need to um, take anything off and just sit comfortably where you are you're in the perfect spot okay in your face okay all right so again continue to breathe and I'm just going to work my hands down your neck there okay and as I push my fingers then with a little more pressure into your neck I'm just 
having a little feel around for any tension in your neck area there. Good, okay. Yes, yeah, so I can feel a fair amount in the lower part of your neck. shoulders and push down on your shoulders there. and there's a little tightness around there as well So this will be really beneficial for you, I, I believe, because this means that we're relaxing your muscles and calming them down and if when you get home or perhaps when you start tomorrow morning uh, and just start to implement a few of the different changes and perhaps this tension won't then come back you see okay that's the idea all right so just to then push down on your shoulders and then your neck I'm just warming up your muscles now I've eased out as I'm sure you can feel the tense areas and now I'm just light movements and massaging the general area. Is that okay? Good. Great. more breaths breathing in breathing in Wonderful. Mm, that's good. Okay, well done. Pop this back on. And how do you feel now? Good. That's really good to know. I'm pleased. So, do let me know how you get on, and as I said, any questions, not a problem, just pop those over, and reception will be in touch about your stretching course. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really good, well it's so great to see you, and great to have you on board. Great to have you.
happy with the clients and you're in good hands. Um, we won't um, stop until we get right to the bottom of what the issue is and um, we will guide you all the way. Brilliant. Alright, so when you're ready you can take a deep breath. It's relaxing, isn't it? I know. And the chairs are comfy too. And then I believe your coat's in reception. So if you pop over there, they shall help you with that. Okay? Great. Alright. Lovely to see you and um, I'll see you again soon. Okay. Thanks. Alright, you take care.